Welcome back to Washington Athletic Club for pool number one, round number two. Nadia Aparado going up against Dave Fink, and Nadia looks really relaxed in there. My name is Dave Vincent alongside John Bike. Dave right, Fink and Nadi have, have a little history. Perry, Dave's California. defeated Nadi one time. And on this court, there was a little controversy last year when the referee, which was and Luis Cordoba, playing out of Tucson, Arizona. We have Dave called Fink. a do-over when Dave was coming back, and it would have given Dave the 14th point, serving for right, game one, a tiebreaker. Score and then zero, immediately, a month later, Dave defeated Nadi at the Nationals. And that was the only time he defeated Nadi Alvarado. Point. And Nadi comes out with that first crack One serve. One serve zero. Excellent synopsis of the history between these two. Sure ball. It used to be very one-sided, but serve. right now it's almost a toss-up. Well, if you have those amazing serves. Then Replay. Oh, Nadi held his ground like he's playing, playing one, wall one wall in there. there yeah. Try to move out of the way there, Nadi. <laughs> There's One a, serve I zero. guess that's a warning if uh, <laughs> this new try generation to, of referees. Try to try <laughs> move out of the way there. Yeah. Point. The older you get when the young, like younger okay, guys okay. don't okay. understand this, but the older you get when you just get bumped wrong, Two you're not zero. playing handball for three weeks. So Nadi <laughs> said, if I move to the left, he's going to be standing there. If I move to the right, he's going to come and hit Point. me. So I'm just going to stand here right in the middle. Three, serve zero. And like Charlie Shank said at his exit interview, this is what Nadi's doing right now is what they were each looking for in their opening match, Point. and Charlie found it first. But look at Nadi Four. just hitting the ball Zero. just barely over the line. That's oh, the court, the walls are so ball. fast here. So yeah, so they had that excellent first round Second match, serve. and they're both a little too hyped up, hitting it too high. Side out. Nadi's not afraid of double fall. Oh, he's Zero, he was about four. one inch away from getting a, his fifth point there. Nice serve from Fink. So it's funny, these two are both 0-1. They both know they're Free play. pretty much out of finals contention. They're just going to be loose and gunning for it. Zero serves four. Short ball. I mean, there are we are playing off all eight spots, and that matters Second too. Second serve. Slightly different mindset when you're in the hunt for first place or only third or fifth max. Charlie Shank in control of this division now. <laughs> Nadi smacking his gloves together there, right in the middle of Dave's swing. <laughs> Longest rally. A point. So far here of this match, and a point for Dave Fink now, one to four. So if let's say Naughty defeated Dave here, one serves four. He would need Fink to just destroy Shanks by the tiebreaker. I mean, it would have to I be because Naughty didn't get many points that second game, and Fink didn't get many points. Yeah, in his right. Fink got very little show. himself. Right. Two serves four. So yeah, in theory, the winner of this could get 15-15. Mm -hmm. And hope that the loser just donuts Shanks. I don't see that happening. <laughs> Second serve. Not unless you have Moreno in your bracket. Or <laughs> I guess their only out. hope here was that, and I guess it wouldn't really matter, but it, you were kind of hoping that Emmett would defeat Shanks and then it one of these guys would defeat Emmett and then go after the, the total waters, points. Yes, that but even Four if Shanks lost, two. I think he still wins the pool based on the fact that he might have the most points, although Emmett could be in the running this himself too, so certainly not over with. The only way Shanks doesn't win, I believe, is if uh, well he's gonna have Fink to lose. wins this easily and then also destroy Shanks. Side out. The way I see it. So First place in this bracket is almost settled, but you've got the three, five, seven also. I mean, I used to just play to win every match. I Two serves four. That's why I had a, a better than average record in third place matches. Maybe the other guy didn't care, but I was on the court. I might as well try. Out. 
Naughty serving at four to two. Four serves two. Two serves four. Wow, nice serve right there from Fink. Point. I like what Nadi's doing. I, I noticed in the practice Three match I played four. with David on, on Easter Sunday, because it wasn't a big holiday to us. <laughs> <laughs> he just he just didn't even care wh where I was. He, when he was ready to serve, he served. Yeah. So I had to like ten times during that game I just had to just okay, I'm not ready yet. That's all I do when I play him locally. I get to the point where I said you don't know quick serves with me. Four serves three. And sometimes when you're feeling it you allow him to quick serve you because you're like, yeah, I I'm feeling good. <laughs> so it goes both ways. I don't always stop play, but but, but that's he's a fast bad practice habit for him because in the tournament you can't do that. Point. David is a proponent of playing at the server's pace, but the reality of our game is both players have time to compose themselves. Five serves three. Well, I wish he would learn that a little bit more. Five to three. Naughty wearing that yellow. That ball might be short. Naughty wearing, wearing that, simple wearing that green yellow championship from jersey. Is that right? Yeah. Right out. But he could be also from one of the senior finals that he won. Three serves five. You're giving jerseys for that? Absolutely. I can win a jersey tomorrow? Yeah. Um, I'm going to bed. <laughs> it's time to ice down. Wow. Would you like that I in mean, an I'm extra large or? No, no. Large, skin tight, large. Maybe medium. Ooh. For next year. Four serves five. Ah. I was thinking about getting my stomach stapled, but then I knew that that would take we about, a it's a three hour operation, and I know that Hometown Buffet only does their specials in two hour spans. So you'd miss that day at yeah, least I for starters. Yeah, I don't want yeah. to miss that. I, I'm actually on like you've, Cal you've Ripken this through. You've thought this through. Yeah. Five serves five. They call me the Iron Man. Um, I'm on Cal Ripken's streak right now, 4,000 straight days. Well, I don't know how he did it, but one teacher at my school got the staple, and he must have just eaten right through it because he's even heavier. Six serves <laughs> five. <laughs> I've, never, I've never even heard of that. Like, how do you do that? It's like on, <laughs> on one hand, I, I kind of respect his... <laughs> what he's done but so he's got like a one-third to side stomach but he's gained weight since the that's surgery that's a talent see but you have that kind of focus that that out it probably happened to you too no yeah i could i can eat my way through that can't wait five serves six naughty has five dave has six that looked short was it good i thought it was short as well but this front wall camera angle, I can already tell that it's a little choppy. Don't get to see the clearest of image when it comes out. Ooh, and David taking all Point. credit away from Naughty for that awesome yeah. shot. And he's appealing the serve. With, with obscenities. I don't think so. I don't have any new towels up here. You want the new towel? Now he's obfuscating the issue. Does he want a short serve? Does he want a new towel? What does he want? He can't ask for too much. Luckily, the laundry is located just 10 feet and to the right out of that door, so Dave's going to get a brand new warm towel. Just keep it right outside the door so you don't have to go outside. Dave's wanting the referee to supply him with the towel so he can blow Thank his you. nose. Yeah, okay, we'll keep that one. That can be your own towel. I just don't know if that's a rule right, or not? Resuming play. So the referee holds your six it, or That's yeah. why not. What I've learned with towel. WPH is the rules are whatever you <laughs> say they are. <laughs> so Third ball. Why don't you put it to a vote and then do what you want to do? I'll put it to the vote and then two weeks later Second we'll change serve. the vote with <laughs> another vote. Have too many voting chances going on here. That's vintage Eldorado right there. Now, John, the 
Big Ball Players Point. Championship is coming up June 1st and 2nd. Venice Seven Beach. Or six. Big Ball Three Wall Outdoor Championships. Already had over 275 people enter the tournament in the qualifiers trying to get into this limited thing. Are you going to try to qualify? All right, he's appealing the Are you going to go down and watch? Are you going to buy like your way in? I mean, how, what's going to Is there like a Pro Masters B? This is interesting what's happening right now. Well, I thought it was interesting. Not a hit right. it, 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 it was. It was just bad timing because. Okay. No slide. Not there. There can't be a. This Jeremy is when you have like amateur linesmen doing a pro match. That's just Nadi Alvarado. I didn't see Gucci. a slide. Only one agree disagreed point. Okay, so Nadi does win that. A good, a strong Eight right arm, six. and that's what Fink could do better down the left wall. Nadi can generate hitting a reverse magical action down that right wall. Now Nadi's on fire with this serve. I mean, is if Nine you're going to go as six. a right-hander to the right wall, are you trying to hit a reverse with laser action into that laser into that wall to get that slide? That seems to be the thing now, yeah, with Nadi and Charlie Shanks, Moreno. I mean, Luis would do both of those, but you know, Dave Nadi Senior, that was his bread and butter. Score is six serves there. nine. Dave just moved to Tucson, and I was telling him that. Point. Luis has this new serve where he's hitting the ball on the right wall, and it seems like in your, your eyes actually literally see it sliding two feet before it comes off Replay. the side wall. Check the ball, please. And Dave didn't believe me, and then all of a sudden he said, that is the most unbelievable thing I've ever seen. So he's hitting it 80 miles an hour to 90 okay. miles an hour, but he's going over the top of the ball, and it's hitting about eight inches off the ground, and it literally runs the wall. Uh, but it stands to reason. If you're Seven able to make the nine. ball bounce on the ground and hop, and also bounce off the front wall and hop like a lot of players can. Why couldn't you hop it off the side wall? And that's really what Luis is doing. But uh, as you Replay. see also, Second like you again. said, Naughty Senior and Junior and Charlie Shanks. And Naughty Senior is saying, yes, I, I did that in 1976. Replay, seven right. nine. I'm glad you're finally noticing it. Screen ball. Well, no one else has been able to do it since 76, <laughs> Naughty. Fink, it was an obvious screen. That ball was screen. I was, I was, I was calling it before he even hit it, man. Before he even hit, that's an amazing call. It. He called it before he hit it. Two <laughs> serves, one screen. It's the best screen call ever. Well, actually, it was a great screen call. It was a screen, I mean, was but to say I called it before you hit it, <laughs> that's <laughs> taking it to another level. <laughs> Point. The premonition. And at this end of this first game, not, uh, John, I want you to talk about the Eight U.S. Open. Nine. I know there's some exciting things going on. Yeah, we also have the uh, the big ball is amazing. I, I want to get into that too for the June tournament and the October tournament. Nice get right there from Fink. He actually gets and back he, to the front wall. Oh, Dan the hand would have got that ball. Pressures of fatherhood. <laughs> Do you need a towel or no? I don't know where the hinder was. It I like didn't see that because Nadi was all the way against the left wall. So I'm <laughs> taking a look okay, at this we'll replay, see replay now. Dave is upset about a block. Let's see where that is. It's not that shot. <laughs> okay. Not there. Uh, I don't. I don't think so. I, I understand it wasn't totally irrational, but it wasn't a block either. Well, Dave was actually right, lobbying serving. for the block when he actually could have got back up and hit that ball that Naughty hit right down the middle of the floor. Yeah, not, yeah. And Naughty That's was out of position. That often happens. Nine that often happens. That was a slide. That was a slide. Two serves coming. It gets tricky now at this time of night. That swimming pool plays effect over there. Like Matt McLaughlin said during our timeout, like I, I'm not even gonna leave the court anymore. The, the court's the coolest place. Because <laughs> yeah, that right side wall is against the swimming pool and it's it's humid. This is the Players' Championship. This is pool one, round two. Dave Fink lost his first round, so did Nadia Alvarado. This is essentially third place in their pool. Well, Nadi can still uh, 
take charge with right. a win here and a win over Emmett. Replay tomorrow. that last one, two serves coming. So there's a little more at stake. Score is nine That's serves true. Eight. Not championship play, but could move up in his pool. Bernardi, third, fifth, third through eighth are all still in play. That's a big difference. And David, too, if he can beat Charlie Shanks. If he can get 30 Side points out. off Charlie Shanks. Eight serves nine. Got hand signals. Extra hook by Daddy Jr. Did, I'm not. You need a towel? Now, probably not worth a replay, but I thought I saw Naughty just natural that ball about two feet. That was. Well, let's take a look at the replay. I mean, all I have to do we is push have time. this I button. I have a button right here, and I'm going to push it, okay? Mm. Here it is. Oh my gosh, there it is. did it. Is that amazing? Because that's just out of the blue. Th that, that's not a shot you see every day. And David's mad about something, but I'll tell you what David's mad about in a second. Let's see this this reverse that you're talking about. It's a left-handed natural. Wow. That's Nine what's amazing. Eight. It's an off-hand natural. But it's with power. And look at that's Bink. <laughs> and it's like, like he's the victim here. Like, not he never hits two-hand off-hand hooks. Off-hand hooks, like two feet. Dave's upset because the referee didn't throw the towel in quick enough. Dave said it's not even a this question. If I go down, you need to throw me the to towel. Be a very entertaining match for, for uh, as you said before, for all the wrong reasons. <laughs> for, well, I said for various <laughs> reasons. Various. Yeah, whatever. Some right, some on wrong. What Maybe I just heard you say that. <laughs> it depends on what you find entertaining. <laughs> Maybe Second it's third. entertaining to you, perhaps. Okay, let's see what Dave does here. Big back wall setup. Wow. See, and I've been there myself with, with David, the left-handed mind. And but when you have a fat setup and you pull it ten feet off where you're aiming, you're just you're just not in the right frame of Nine mind. Nine serves eight. You see Naughty on that very next play goes over the top casually, kills that ball. Nice Good kill. Ball. Point. Corner crack. I called it a kill shot, but it was a serve. What's the difference? Ten serves eight. Just misses that one too. Replay. Naughty holding his ground like New York one wall here. Nothing wrong with that. Ten serves eight. So was Nationals the last time they played, or they played since then, since David Glenn? Well, Naughty, Naughty didn't play a lot on the race tour this year, so it's very limited. He only played in Houston, so the and then in Anchorage. This is Naughty's first match eight. after that. So I, because John, John Alvarado bike Short ball. had the scoop on that match, and I was, I won't even share it because it was told to me in confidence. Okay. I don't put those in the website. I'm surprised you even brought it up. Just wanted to mention the difference when you're here in confidence. Okay. There's a funny story at the Alvarado Barbecues about Naughty's performance in that match. Side out. And which one? Which match? The, the match when Frank beat him at Nationals. It's an absolutely legitimate excuse, but Alvarado's don't make excuses. Uh huh. That's true. So in our mind, he's still undefeated. <laughs> okay. You'll have to get uh, John Alvarado bike in the booth to explain well, the story. Because Naughty not won't tell it, and I won't tell it. Fink would have But he told John, so Okay. <laughs> John would tell it, yes. and he does I'll regularly. Just, I'll just text your son really quick. He doesn't answer text. Okay, well, I don't, Eight I don't serves answer 11. text either. I, I like to write them. 8 to 11, Fink serving here. Game number one. No call from Point. the ref. Naughty. Slightly wanted to try to buy something there, but didn't get it. Now nine to eleven. Moment of silence. Nine serves you eleven. You always say two. It's supposed to be nine eleven. You always say nine to eleven. Well I kind of messed it up. 
the jab just goes 9-11. Right. Which is also Octavio Silvera's birthday. Mm. And we're back. And he's in and he's in Camarillo. Well, okay. you didn't say it right. You knew what I meant. What is 9 to 11? September 2nd, <laughs> 2011? <laughs> Serving here. Huh? It's so a one minute break right. for this headband, and Nadi's going to get what? Get it? So, what's the day to day like in, in uh, north uh, eastern Tucson in that little cul de sac with you and David Fink? We all well want to know. Dave Fink did move to the neighborhood, and Dave is an interesting neighbor to have because he will show up any time of the day mm. and more than once a day. So a lot of people say, oh, you know, you and Dave have this great chemistry and we love listening to you together or whatever. Well, that same thing happens at my house at 6 in the morning, 7.30. That could eroded the chemistry. 5. Uh, now, I like it. I don't mind that he comes over. He knocks on the door, and or sometimes he didn't. Lately, he just walks All in. Right, time that in. messy Not garage serving, door. It's very much 11, like... <laughs> <serves nine. laughs> It's very much like Kramer coming over and <laughs> Seinfeld. I mean, he actually just walks in. I do. S I entirely Point. see that. I s I see David Fink as Kramer. Well, serves nine. And that's entirely his new thing I definitely now. So see that. I leave the front door unlocked for him. But the first few days, he was walking on the side gate in the mm, backyard, but coming in, just, just, just knocking on the back screen door, which is kind of creepy. And I had to tell him to stop doing that. Unforced error there. Fink back serving again. But he does come over four or five times a day. Nine serves 12. Short. See, David Second serve. As a hardcore whack fan last year when I thought the Super Bowl meant something, I don't like David Fink with his body language. <laughs> He's just not. Well, the Super Bowl does mean something, John. I don't know if you noticed this trophy over here. I saw that beautiful trophy, but they told me Masters players do not earn points for it, so I'm just ceremonial. I'm just like a, I don't know, Sam Snead here. I'm frustrated because I thought that each one of the senior players would have been on opposing that's teams. That's so I proposed that. Well, well, I think got shot All right, down. All right, time out at your first 30 seconds. Right, we have 30 seconds to talk about the big ball tournament on July June 1st. No, let's let's skip that Jul that June first one. Let's talk about U.S. Open. What's what's going on with the U.S. Open this year? There's several big changes, all for the better. They are having a one-wall event. That's the main one. And the, the second one is they are allowing players to play two events, but not on the same court. All right, ten seconds. So which I love. I mean, I you know you can't say I, I want two four-wall. I want two three-wall. I want two. So it's like people are gonna. Because they can, they're going to cross over. I'm definitely entering one of the other ones, even though I'm horrible at both of them. I, I think it's great. I, I heard that right, you, can, you can cross Jimmy over, but you can't play doubles in the same. Nine. So I you can can't play, play the two. You can't play two events on the same court. Short. I just love it. I think it's great. So it's going to be a lot of. It, this is what we need for everyone to respect everyone Second else's serve. sport. I've been doing it for a while in practice, and I just. Well, I think it's tremendous. I mean, you and I love the big ball. Yeah, I love playing it. And I think what I always felt that was missing about the tournament was that a guy like Samson Hernandez, who's a great big ball player, could also go over and play small ball. And, and and why not? Because they don't really It would conflict. generate a lot of interest, yeah. and yeah. he would do right, pretty 13 well. 13 serves 9. So that's like if Samson got the right doubles partner yeah. in the indoor Short small ball, ball or, or Goyo now. Yeah, Goyo, he's good. Goyo can play his open doubles like he always does at Second age serve. 70. 40 yeah. infinity. Uh-huh. And he can play an indoor event and shock people with the right partner. Oh, and Nadi hits that crack, and he's serving here now to take game number one, 14 to 9. Nadi's going to serve here. 14 possible game point serves 9. He did it. Good, Good call. call. Good game. call by David. Three minutes. There will three be a three-minute break. We're going to take a timeout as well. You stick around. More action coming up right around the corner here at RaceForEight.com.
at shelters, you'll discover healthy and loving animals just waiting to become a part of your family. Why wait? You can make a difference in the life of an animal. A person is the best thing to happen to a shelter pet. Be that person and adopt your new best friend today. To find out more, visit the shelterpetproject.org. Are you getting this, honey? Oh, prime time. We are rolling. <laughs> All right, Mama's gonna bring it home. Mama's okay. gonna bring it home. Okay. 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 Come on, watch this guy. Oh, oh backwards. Oh, Woo! don't. Okay. It went into Bob and Carol's yard. Oh, no. Yeah. Okay. Here it yeah. goes. Oh, oh mom. Oh. Challenge your kids to be active and eat healthy. Yeah, All right, let's see what you can do. Let's go. They might surprise you. Search We Can for more ideas on how you and your kids can get healthy together. For 20 years, the Inner City Handball Association has educated, mentored, and served young people through handball. Young people that participate in the Inner City Handball Association programs have a high graduation rate from high school and continue on to college. Inner City Handball teams are good athletes, good students, and good ambassadors for the sport of handball. We need your help to continue our work. Inner City Handball Association is a registered 501c3 Texas and charity. Please donate today. Thank you. Working and working out takes a lot of energy. That's why I drink Zenergy. Feeling fantastic and looking good has never been easier. Science, extreme science for your active lifestyle. Hello. I'm Bruce Fabrizio, inventor of Simple Green. Our non-toxic, biodegradable, all-purpose cleaner works great for cleaning it. Thank you. Non-toxic, biodegradable, Simple Green. It's great for cleaning. Washington Athletic Club for game number two. It was Nadia Alvarado winning game one, 15 to nine, and Dave Fink will be serving first here in this second game. This is pool number one, round number right, two. Time in. Zero, serve zero. Short. Now he's appealing. One disagrees, one agrees. Call stands, short serve. Second serve. Zero serve zero. We're all together here at zero with Naughty serving. Naughty didn't even have to change his shirt. Short. Stayed in there with the same clothing on. Second serve. Wow, nice left handed kill shot from Naughty. One serve zero. That should be a big setup for Dave. Goes to the corner and misses it. Two serve zero. Naughty looks really relaxed right now. His left hand is just. It's just pretty. That's all I can say. Referee didn't throw the towel down quick enough. Dave's not going to like that. This Another good element of competition that Nadi has is uh, he does feed off another guy showing weakness. So being in this bracket with Fink and Emmett, if, if they start to crack at all, it's, it's going to make him play that much better. Shanks was impressive because Shanks wasn't playing his best, but he didn't crack. He just grinded it out. Three, serve zero. Thank you. A 
that's our four we zero. Left our credit card at dinner. Apparently, that's that's our host. Replay. This could be a replay here at three to zero. Second game. Four zero zero. Excuse me. Four zero. Naughty starting off game number two like he started off game number one. That ball looks short, on but the, on the go cam it's short. It Replay always looks that. short on this camera. <laughs> and the referee's going to allow him to keep talking to him like that. So. Yeah, we were playing. Yeah. Now, John, th this is a. It's a family trip. The Alvarados bring up, Naughty brings up Carrie. You bring up your wife. You were going to try right, to go down to the Space Needle zero tonight. Zero. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, sorry. And when you come up to Seattle, is this a, a, a place of interest where you guys, you know, like oh to yeah. hang out and, and see the site? I mean, it's one of the most beautiful cities you'll ever see. It's. I mean, when you proposed a senior tour, that pretty much was it. That <laughs> You're going because of Seattle. Five zero. <laughs> it's, I, I can go to Seattle and get the play on that fast court and but Short. the other thing I mean we all I mean that's for some reason in Lapita's head this is the place to be it's, it's like the Second opposite serve. of the desert yeah that's true she said I want to go to Seattle <laughs> and you're only standing one foot away from her <laughs> now see Nani can miss that shot and get over it I Whereas missed that joke there. It's probably going to haunt me for hours. Well, I knew Zero what you meant, though, five. so that's all that matters. Now, I was on the observation deck last night of the Space Needle. Got there, made reservations for the Second restaurant serve. at 8 o'clock because the sun set at 8.22. But stayed there until about 10 o'clock or so, so was able to watch the city lights. Mm. It's It got, you know, in a panoramic 360 view. So you get to see what the One whole city looks five. like. It looks like you're looking at Sydney, Australia. But I wouldn't know. Oh, I'm sorry. I, <laughs> you been I've been there. Look at Fink still. Still plugging away. Went for the right shot. Fink gets it in the left corner. Two serves five. Not he wasn't ready yet. That's interesting. He'll, he'll tell him after this. And not he's right about Point. this. That to how okay, I thought you were set. My bad. I'll watch for it. Not he's holding on to the ball here. This is a classic confrontation here because Fink is the main quick server, and Naughty is very smart Three about stopping five. runs by using his 10 seconds. Well, not only did he do that, but he also held the ball, <laughs> which is just more of a a little. I'm going to send a message to you. You're a quick server. I'm going to take up my time, but I'm not going to let you have the luxury of bouncing Four that ball while I'm doing five. it. I'm going to hold it until I'm done. That's a and huge it worked setup. One point later, it, it paid off. That out. David's still thinking, why didn't he give me the ball last point? <laughs> I'm just. Actually, I hate when sportscasters put thoughts in players' heads, and I just did that. I'm probably totally wrong probably totally right five serves four five to four not you know better than I do he lives right down the street short short ball well he's four houses away and I was I go out and I sit on the deck oh, look at the Catalinas Second as the serve. sun goes down reminiscing about my younger days and I can hear him talking he's a loud talker like your wife <laughs> <laughs> no point he's Four houses away, so I can hear him talking in his You backyard. can hear him talking four houses away. Six and serves four. That class, huh? That's what I'm worried about. We're contemplating a move to the uh, to the to golf the course nice community, and we have two acres, so nobody can hear our family going. <laughs> but <laughs> if we just if we just do what we do at our new house, there's going to be like we're going to have an audience. Isn't it funny you watch these guys? Yeah, that's true, actually. You move into the city and you find out that you, you're you either going to build a fan club Seven or a hate club. Seven to four. Seven to four. Gonna, they're going to know everything. We're, they're going to know our business for sure. <laughs> Especially if, you're, if your wife is. Especially that. Barking commands. 
Isn't it funny watching the seven. personalities of these players? Everybody has their Sorry. own little type of gamesmanship. Naughty's got his sort of little secret code that he does so nonchalantly, Second almost serve. like an actor. He's able to throw little bits and pieces into the game. That's just remarkable. This is what Dave is doing. This is all this match was promised is happening right now. Yeah, Dave is doing stuff right now to try to get into Naughty. Seven I don't think four. it's four. It doesn't goes. work, that whether it does or doesn't. That's just the way, that's his style of gamesmanship. That's his thing to whatever. Emmett does the opposite, where he's trying to get the crowd involved and act like he's overly loose. Mm. You know, everybody's got this sort of different that's approach. That's an obvious replay. That's an obvious Side replay. Up. Oh, my gosh. That was his left side. Tha that's th a terrible answer the play from the that referee. Naughty made was perfect, except the referee didn't get it at all. Okay. That was. Sorry. That was so obviously a hinder that Naughty just sarcastically said, all right. Yeah, but listen to what the ref says afterwards, which Four we're not going to be seven. able to hear. But let's watch this replay. And it's Naughty pushes it. Terrible shot How from Naughty, by the way. Hinder right here? <laughs> Point. And Fink, it, it, it served Naughty no benefit at all. Fink's evil wins in this case. Five serves seven. Fink will be texting me about that evil wins in this case deal it's in about two weeks when he watches this on demand. Hi, Second Dave. Serve. But no, he'll say, you're right, that was a hinder. Oh, yeah, it definitely was. Both players traded little corner shots. See Naughty coming back with that little smirk on his face. Six serve seven. Short, short ball. Late call, but right call. I call it short. Well, you can just, you can appeal it if you want. <laughs> You feeling it or not? These guys are not showing Chief Referee Aaron Garner the proper amount of respect. And I don't see what he's going to do to take it. All right, well, if you're not appealing, well, it's a short serve. All right, we'll do it the first time then. All right, both disagree. Two serves. That's great. I'm saying back in my day. Six serves, seven. I'm not ready. Okay. And Aaron Nodza says it's okay Six until seven. the next rally. Okay. Then I'm going to quick Naughty's call Naughty's still again. not ready, though. Look, Naughty's <laughs> still not ready. <laughs> In fact, not even until the next rally. Just already. <laughs> just this right is, now. This is fun. I told you it was going to be entertaining, but for just the wrong reasons. I mean. Six or seven. <laughs> That's a much better answer than that. The crowd liked that one. I mean, you have to enjoy Seven this, serves six. John. I mean, it, as much as it's you, have to, you might cringe, but. I'm going to say it's our best match of the night for the entertainment value. That is not over. If Naughty keeps doing stuff like that and Dave gets We're his points. And we still have Lenning, Net, and Moreno Brady to follow. Six serves seven. What's Moreno Brady, like 5 a.m. In, in Ireland? It's yeah, five, I think. They'll all be they all either going they all to bed or night sleep, and they'll they'll be uh, ready for the match. Now we're all together here. Seven serves seven. There's a screen ball, no call. Skip ball, point. <laughs> the crowd thought it was a flat kill, and they were clapping. And right when the ref said skip, they were. Ah. It's silent. I'm not going to clap for that. I thought that ball that Dave served was a screen. Eight serves seven. I don't know if I'd be serving to, Dave, to Naughty's left right now. He's seven showed us eight. early on in this match that his left is on fire today. And in the the one practice match, a game I play against him a year, I, I would prefer to serve his right. 
Eight serves eight. He plays like 90% of our matches. That ball is short. clear in the line. That's good to me. It's short. All right, they're both appealing. They're both appealing. appealing. I called it good. They're both appealing. All right, both agree. I thought it was good. Right, I like the double seconds. appeal, though. I'd like to see the timeout. I mean, oh, the, excuse me, the the replay here, John. I actually right, think it's, it's short. Uh, you you saw it good. You're pretty good at watching this high def TV, and you're often right. I, I think it's good. I mean, no, short. I excuse me. Good. Let's go back slow mo, slow mo back, and you'll see that this ball's I short. That was good. No, it's good. Let's come back. Nine That's serves eight. Come back forward. Stop it right. Oh, it might hit the line, but I think That's it's good. That's close. That's one of those that you couldn't see unless you actually had a sensor. We'll call it a draw. I see the ball hitting the line there, but nonetheless, we are a side out. Naughty and David jarring back and forth. Now, I talked to Naughty about this. Said I you think like it's playing David? John, by the way. I John. Don't know where those R's came from. Well, that's something he makes up. It's a W. Eight serves nine. Jawing. You're, you're, you speak with your jaw. Right. Not jarring. I don't speak with a jar. Naughty said he likes playing Point. Dave. Yeah, for these reasons, yeah. Nine serves nine. I, then again, if you've got a 10 and 0 record against somebody, that looked like it was short too. Point. A call from Naughty there. I thought that ball was short, Dave. John. I'm about a nine. I'm like Ray Allen in three pointers. Ten serves nine. My bet's about 52 percent. Ray yeah. Allen on free throws would be impressive. Now that would be nice, but I'm, I'm more 52%. But I've made a lot of them. Right out. We've still got two and a half top-notch matches left. It's getting late here. But it's true. Nine serves ten. How does Lenning bounce back from that Brady thing? On paper, he beats Net. Yeah, let's, let's replay that. Look at Naughty's just enjoying Look at Naughty. Time. It's entertaining to Naughty, too. Yeah, we'll replay that. All right, well, we're calling a replay for that point, not the last one. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> <laughs> well, though, everybody's right, funny minute. now. Now the referee's a comedian, too. I guess for those at home trying to understand what's going on, somebody banged the back wall or made. I think because I was in the booth and that the referee mic is super strong, and if you abs accidentally bang the metal near it, it, it sets everything off. So that thunk that we heard was so the, the microphone. I think it's it's the ref mic, the ref court, the ref gallery mic. Okay. Because I. The crowd, I couldn't tell what it was, but then I went and ref. Then I was like, "Oh, I did that." Okay. You know, it's ladies' night. Cool in the game. All right, time in. Score is nine serves ten. Oh. <laughs> That he's 40, John. It's still interesting to watch Not him play. Not 40. Close enough. It's just a tiny bit slower. <laughs> <laughs> Look at even Naughty's having a great time in here. Yeah, Naughty's. I'm laughing. Because Shanks has 2 0, oh, we're just going to see these guys firing away. All right, 30 seconds. They still have important position to play for, just not first place position. So we'll. <laughs> but everybody's laughing in the court here. This is what I mean. Look at Naughty. He's laughing like, you know, he's <laughs> he whatever happened. <laughs> I like people to see this because this is what we used to do three times a week in our dungeon with Robles and Chris Watkins and Silent John and Naughty just. Trading mess the entire two hours you're in there. And that, to me, that's what handball's all about. And these tournaments are a bonus. 
But when you come to Nadia's 40th birthday party, you're oh, well, I wasn't invited, so. You have one well, more. What doesn't happen? It's not till August. Well. The invites aren't out yet. I was, I was just funning you. Well, they're already promoting the U.S. Open, and that's in October. I mean, if you don't promote your own birthday that's a couple months earlier, well, you must have missed the party and the invitation. Well, you're in. You're, you're my date. Okay. We're ready. I'll be there. I'll be there. I'll drive over. Time in. Score is 10, serves Sorry. 10. You're playing footsie now? We're all together. Oh, that's, look that's, that's the one he gets me on. That one right. I would have thought was right. That's just amazing that's serve. Once in a while, 11 serves 10. We'll pull off that big head fake. Short ball. Went right back to it that's again. That's not a short. <laughs> <laughs> Your wife says, I saw it short. Second serve. And Nadi goes, okay. You don't need a line judge when you got your sister saying. Well, they used to play teacher and student from age five on. Guess who was a teacher? Well, that would be your yeah. wife. Yes, yes. This is our Verado. Strange bounce over there. All right, one minute. Let me see your gloves, too. Come on. All right, change your gloves as well. Two-minute timeout. We're going to take one here, too. We'll be back in hey, Nadi, about one minute. You stick well, around here at racefor8.com. So what? This is, he's doing it, too. Let's just change it. How are your gloves? Okay, you're good. So what's it going to be? We could ride bikes, skating, movies, zoo, whatever you guys want to do. Can we just do this? Yeah. We could just do this. The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. <laughs> Take time to be a dad today. Working and working out takes a lot of energy. That's why I drink Zenergy. Feeling fantastic and looking good has never been easier. Science, extreme science for your active lifestyle. Here we go, we're gonna, we're gonna make some juice. It's gonna be good. She's excited. A little bit of kale. Please don't put this on I'm putting it all over the line. It's wet, it needs something. No, it'll go. Don't break my juicer. Looks good. You ready to try it? Come on, baby. Try Challenge it. your kids to be active and eat healthy. It's okay. Okay, like all right. They might surprise you. I actually took another sip. You saw it? Search We Can for more ideas on how you and your kids can get healthy together. Back at the Washington Athletic Club for the continued coverage, World Players of Handballs, Players Championship, David Fink holding close with Nadia Alvarado. This is actually the longest match so far of the tournament, an hour and six minutes. Of pure entertainment, and not only the handball shots, the, the psychology, the give and take, a lot of laughs here. <laughs> The referee, players are laughing at each three. other. A lot of interplay with All the right, referee. Resuming play. Let referees try to be funny. The score is 10 serves 11. Crowd's noisy. It's all good. Short ball. That wasn't even He's close. Appealing the call. That was two inches short. One agrees, actually. one disagrees. Call stands. Someone agreed with him? With 
Someone Second agreed with serve. Stink on that call. Oh, slower than it had to be, but definitely the right the right shot to hit. <laughs> Dave says that. Someone in the crowd yelled "Eso" in Seattle. Or did he yell it himself? I, I don't know. Eleven serves ten. We're going to fifteen. Naughty won the first one, fifteen to nine. And if that towel isn't thrown down there quick enough, Dave's going to be upset here. He's going to look back, and if that towel's not sitting there, look at this. Watch what's going to happen. A little bit of fireworks. Wow. D I, Dave had the yeah, referee well, trained and everything. Ray Allen misses sometimes, too. 12 serves 10. There's that left one that's... Thirteen serves ten. Point. Here it is. Naughty serving to take the match. Put himself in very good shape game for the impossible three, match four point point playoff. Serves ten. And saving himself out of the seven eight looks like. And there it is. Thought it's good. There you go. That's Outside how we do you an appeal? Well, let's wait till this appeal. appeal. That's how we do it in the at the lake. I called it good. I thought it was over. We hit crack right, serves for match point. It's a short serve. Uh oh. Oh no, you didn't. <laughs> well, it's been it's been done. Naughty's laughing. Or he's gonna hit a crack serve, second serve. This is not the game, so the score should be 14 to 10. Second wow. serve. There it is. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and put that 15 point in the book as a crack serve ace and not an uncourse error. Okay, you go ahead and do that. Are you scoring at home? That was an ace. <laughs> Nadia Alvarado takes Dave Fink 15 to 9, 15 to 10, to and now has matchup. a win <laughs> here. Let's go over to Tracy. Congrats Davis. on that win there against David. Good way to rebound after this morning's loss against um, Charlie. Yeah, that was tough. Charlie's playing great. You know, just had to get a, a warm up game, and Charlie's not the guy to warm up with. No, that's a tough first round. I mean, it was a tough first round match for him, too. Well, maybe. He didn't make it look that way. The first game was close. The second game, you looked a little flat. Yeah, so good, yeah. It was a bad first game. But here we are again. So we're moving forward. Yeah. So you have one and one. You're out of the 7-8 spot. So you have other rounds that you can play to try to increase your, your seating, your earnings, your earnings for this tournament. That's right. That'd be fun. So I look forward to it. Awesome. And so I just have to ask you, how much of handball, there's so much focus on the technical skills, the aces, the kill shots. How much of handball would you say is a psychological game? Oh, it's everything. I mean, uh, that keeps you, uh, if you lose your cool, you can see what can happen. So it's the most important part. Yes, and you kept your cool in there in a lot of moments that, I mean, that's just your style. You keep your cool. Yeah, uh, I'm used to Dave, so it doesn't really bother me much. Well, it was a lot of fun out there to watch. Did you have fun playing it? That was a lot of fun. More fun than most. <laughs> Awesome. Well, congratulations on this match. Have a great night, and we look forward to seeing you play again tomorrow. You got it. I look John. To yes. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Trace. You yes. know, John, uh, you know, talk about having fun. There's a lot of players that go out there, and they just don't have fun. And it looks like Dave Fink is one of those guys that you could probably categorize as not really having fun, maybe on the outside. But Nani's saying, hey, that was, a, that was a little bit more fun than most matches I've had. Um, do you struggle with that personally when you played in your Hall of Fame career? Do you go out there and, and try to say, I'm going to relax and have fun, or am I, I'm just on a mission as a machine here to try to get that win? Yeah, that's, that's the battle. That's the thing we're all facing mentally in our own heads. And, uh, when, when I was doing it full time all the time, it was, it was both. It was, uh, I, I had the right combination of I really enjoyed it. I knew I enjoyed it more than any other thing. 
<coughs> so back in the time, I it was for me it was both. I, I it was definitely my favorite thing to do on weekends, and I was also on a mission. And now I empathize. But, you know, everyone else going when you start getting injured, it's just not quite as much fun. Then then you <laughs> question yourself. Sometimes it's fun on the court, and then what happens afterwards when you start right. aging it, that it's not so fun when you have to do all this other stuff to prepare your body for the warm down or whatever it is that that happens to us aging players but back when you're when you were let's call it 1990 1991 would you go into a national championship and e would there ever be a round of handball that you ever play that you could say that was a fun match you know fun's like a, a, a first grade adjective you know it's just enjoy enjoy like I, I enjoyed the preparation i enjoyed every moment of it and then then you see what you have when you're actually there but enjoy the challenge but i love Nadi's attitude right now it's it's totally just yeah he's in a different got place more important things going on in life and yeah and this is just fun you just watched Nadi operato take down david fink the score was 15 to 9 to 15 to 10 and it was entertaining just like we thought it would be coming up next we're going to have Sean Linning and Andy Nett here on the big screen as we go courtside with them on this show court for their second round match of pool number one. So get ready for that. Actually, I believe it's pool number two, but we have it listed as pool number one nonetheless. We'll have that match coming up in just a bit. Stick around. More handball pool action one is closed. here. <laughs> pool one is over with. We have pool closed. two only to work with. So we have more handball coming up right around the corner. We want you to stick close. Give us about 10 minutes here for... Andy Nett and Sean Lenny at racefreight.com. Stick with us. Rethink what you know about this Vegas icon. My name is Bruce Fabrizio. In 1975, I invented Simple Green based on three principles. It had to be safer to use, it had to work, and it had to be completely made in America. From generation to generation, Simple Green has been cleaning everything from car engines and tools to kitchen counters and floors. No matter what you clean, indoors or outdoors, clean it with non-toxic, biodegradable Simple Green.